part of my frustration with the current WWE product is how a lot of times they just randomly throw stuff together. And sometimes things that should be big or significant that you should have spent some time building up to, you just randomly throw out there. Like Kurt Angle wrestling at TLC was put together 48 hours before the show. Now, there were circumstances and situations that dictated that was a the direction they felt like they needed to go, but holy hell, this is a guy that hadn't wrestled in a WWE ring for over a decade, and you blow his return match as part of a three-on-five handicap tag match where you only had 48 hours to build up to it. It's just really strange. And oftentimes you'll see this where the WWE is trying to drive social media traffic, by announcing things via social media and oftentimes announcing things that have absolutely no television buildup or any other even real social media buildup to them. And I look at the announcement on Twitter by Shane McMahon for this WWE Championship match between AJ Styles and Jinder Mahal Tuesday on SmackDown as a perfect example of this. Jinder, I thought, was getting ready for Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. AJ Styles, I thought, was already slated to wrestle Rusev on Tuesday. Of all the random ass thrown together at the last minute type of crap, that's exactly what this is. And with this kind of coming out of the blue, it's been interesting to see the reaction to people um, in terms of what they're speculating might be the cause of this. Uh, there are some people, I think even Melter might have speculated that maybe Jinder Mahal is injured. Well. I don't really get that be vibe at this point because if Jinder Mahal was injured, why would you put him in a match if he was healthy enough to work the match? You know what I'm saying? That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If he was truly injured where there was an issue where they felt like they had to get the belt off of him and change plans at the 11th hour, then they would just strip him of the belt, wouldn't they? You would think. I mean, unless he's sick, unless he's got the JoJo mumps. You know, who knows? Who knows? But I'm not really buying that Jinder's that injured at this point in time. Um, the next speculation, which I thought was going to be the most prevalent speculation, was that Jinder Mahal failed a drug test. That Jinder Mahal dropped hot. And, and clearly, looking at the before and after transformation for Jinder, there's always going to be that speculation. There's always going to be that thought that that's exactly what he's doing. That he's on some PEDs. He's juicing. He's roiding. He's gassing. Whatever you want to call it. And you look at them, and there is some pretty interesting evidence that suggests that could be the case. However, with that said, if he dropped hot, typically the WWE, when somebody has dropped hot, regardless of where they're at in a story or anything else, I think about Roman Reigns as a perfect example. Once Roman dropped hot for Adderall, that was it. They announced it pretty quickly that he was suspended for 30 days. It doesn't matter what he was doing at that point in time. So I don't really buy that Jinder Mahal dropped hot, although, again, it is definitely a possibility, and I could be wrong about that. Uh, the third thing that people are speculating is WWE wants to go with Lesnar versus AJ Styles at Survivor Series in a champion versus champion match. That the companies may be changing their mind and realizing, hey, AJ versus Lesnar is much more appealing to the fans. It's a much better marquee main event style caliber match for that pay-per-view than a Lesnar versus Mahal is. <clears throat> and f fundamentally, people are correct. Um... But also, you know, when you talk about Lesnar and the way he's been built up and the types of guys that he's beaten, who the fuck is AJ Styles in the grand scheme of things? I mean, I'm sorry. If I'm going to shit on a Finn Balor being thought of as a future opponent for Lesnar, which believe me, I will and do more of that, I can't sit there and say AJ Styles is that much of a more believable option. He's a better option. He's a more interesting option. But, I mean, come on. And, and I think this is, might be one of these things where fans are wanting to pretend it to be or believe it to be because they want it to be, but that doesn't make it true. One other speculation I had was that maybe they would have Jinder drop the strap here to sit there and go with Lesnar and Styles, but maybe they would be setting it up for when they do the live events in December in India that they would have Jinder Mahal chasing the belt. He would be working as a babyface anyways, and as a result, maybe he would get the strap back there. I suppose it's a possibility, but that's such a small possibility. I just don't really see that being very feasible or sensible either. I just don't. 
I mean, that just seems weird. You've already really went down the path of Lesnar versus Mahal at Survivor Series. If you don't have to change that, why would you at this point? Because like it or not, that's what you've set the table up for. That's what you've set the bar on. You've set up for Lesnar versus Mahal. And frankly, if you were talking about doing some type of program with, let's just say, a Lesnar versus Styles, you would hope that you would have more than a couple of weeks to build up to that. Now you're kind of doing that match a disservice by trying to rush it together at the 11th hour scramble to make it work. And ultimately, it wouldn't. To me, there are only two real reasons that this Jinder Mahal versus AJ Styles WWE Championship match is happening Tuesday on SmackDown, and I believe they're in Manchester, England. Number one is they're trying to pop SmackDown Live's ratings. And I think that's a very big component of it. They're trying to pop the ratings a little bit, give some fans the illusion that AJ could be the next champion, that maybe AJ could go on to face Lesnar at Survivor Series in a champion versus champion match. This feels like a desperate type of ratings ploy. Because if you were really going to go there, then you would have done a lot more to set up to this type of match, wouldn't you? And in general, is it really a good idea to make your world championship a randomly thrown together match a couple of days before a show happens when you don't need to? I don't really think so. So I just think it's an attempt to try and pop SmackDown Live's ratings. But number two, the most important reason and the only real reason that matters, and a lot of you know this, unless there's something we don't know at this point, what this company is doing is they're setting it up to feed AJ Styles to Jinder Mahal, to build up Jinder Mahal, to give him some type of believability, some type of credibility before Jinder goes on to face Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. Knowing how this company is and knowing how this company, when they want to dig in, they will dig in stubbornly, more stubbornly than a toddler. I can't imagine this company is changing their plans on anything right now. I can't imagine Jinder Mahal dropping this strap before they go on the India tour in December. And frankly, at this point in time, I don't know if he's dropping it until WrestleMania. Especially if you're talking about the component of Cena potentially being the guest referee between Lesnar and Mahal. You know, that sounds like they're trying to set up something between Cena and Mahal. Maybe at WrestleMania where Cena comes in, works a quick squash, gets his 17th title. Oh, he's a goat. Oh, my God. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Breakfast Club still rules, bitches. That's what it feels like. It feels like they're trying to pop SmackDown's ratings a little bit for that one week because it's all week to week now with this company. And that they need to feed AJ to Jinder, even though it'll still be a cookie cutter chicken shit victory with the Singh brothers getting involved, surely, just so that way they could build up Jinder a little bit, give him something to brag about, something for his character to talk about, and try to pretend to have some type of illusions that he is some viable, legitimate threat to freaking Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. That's what this is all about. And if that's what this is all about, and you had to go to these lengths to do something like this and throw something together at the 11th hour, then maybe it just is a bad omen for what your decision is. Maybe it is an indication that you haven't done a good enough job with Jinder as your champion. Maybe more so it's an indication that Jinder's not worthy of that. But nonetheless, he is your champion. You have kept the strap on him for a while. This is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. And at this point in time, I see no indication. Because they've had opportunities if they wanted to. They have given me the WWE zero reason to believe that this match Tuesday is anything more than feeding AJ to Jinder to pop SmackDown's ratings a little bit and to give Jinder a signature type of victory of some kind heading into a Survivor Series match against Brock Lesnar, period.